Hey, Ellis County, Kevin Crouch here, and I just wanted to take a moment to share with you some baby safety uh, tips for the summer heat that we've been having. This is kind of the focus of my Tuesday Tips segment right now, is uh, talking about different ways that we can stay safe in the heat, and having uh, had a, a newborn baby just a couple months ago, I am uh, constantly thinking about this, especially with the, uh, the scorcher of a heat wave that we have had recently. So I wanted to get some information from Children's Health and uh, just share that with you today and uh, kind of share with you just some ways that we can, uh, we as parents, uh, can watch out for those kiddos, especially, like I say, those babies, and uh, make sure that they're enjoying their time outside while not overdoing it so much. So one of the first things we want to talk about uh, is going to be uh, – the, really the top temperature, really uh, how hot is too hot, okay? And according to children's, 90 degrees is really too hot. So at that point, you, you're, you're kind of pushing them as far as what we can do to keep them comfortable and keep them safe. Anything 90 degrees or up uh, is really going to be too much for these kiddos. So you want to try to shoot for times that may be cooler than that. Uh, and, uh, you know, you want to make sure you take breaks every 15 to 30 minutes. Okay. So if you're outside during, uh, one of these hot days, you want to make sure you're taking those breaks. So go, if you're at the park, I would recommend go in the car, uh, you know, take advantage of the air conditioning in the car for a little while. Uh, or if you are at home, you know, go inside of the air conditioning every 15, 20, 30 minutes, and give them a chance to kind of cool down, calm down, settle down, uh, and uh, you know, make it easier for them to get through the rest of that day. And you want to seek out shade, okay? That's pretty much a, a general rule, right? I mean, we try to do that anyway, but especially in these situations, you want to seek out shade so that uh, if you're at a park or somewhere where you can't necessarily get inside as frequently, at least you're not in direct sunlight, right? So, uh, and this alleviates really the, the pressure of some other tips that we'll get to shortly to find them uh, protection from, from their skin, uh, getting overheated and, and that kind of thing. Uh, so make sure that you're looking for shelter or shade from trees, that kind of thing. And, and honestly, if you're, if you're getting shade, especially outdoors, on days like today, when it's obviously hot, but the humidity is not necessarily as bad, uh, especially late afternoon, evening hours, uh, when it kind of starts to cool down a little bit, when you have that breeze coming in, a lot of the time the shade is not that bad. Uh, and so it can be a little more comfortable uh, in those shady areas if you do have that breeze going than, you know, for example, if you were in the, uh, the sun. You want to dress cool. So with the babies. If, if you uh, want them to wear something, just I would, say, I would say just have them wear just those little white, uh, thin, basic ones. These are, are really the best thing. They're thin. They're breathable. Uh, it, I mean, if you really don't want them to get overheated at all, just going out in a diaper, as long as you're in shade, obviously, and their skin's covered up, but uh, just going out in a diaper, hey, who's going to blame them, right? Uh, they can kind of get away with that. Stay hydrated. You want to make sure you stay on top of the milk or the formula for them. You want to make sure that you're feeding them consistently, that they're getting enough. Uh, so if you want to, right before you go outside, give them a nice feeding and, and maybe right when you come in, if you want to time it that way. But just make sure that they are they are fed, they are hydrated uh, on those days when you're going to be out in the heat. And then stay rested. So we talked about taking breaks. After you come in from being outside after all day, they're going to be exhausted. Let them rest. Let them get a good nap in. Hey, let them nap so you can nap, right? I mean, hey, you, you're not going to argue with that. And then you want to make sure you avoid peak heating. And so we talked about how 90 degrees is really the, the top of what you handle. Early morning, evening hours, okay? Early morning or in the late afternoon, evening if you ask me, the morning tends to be a little more humid. We get we get a lot of that humidity overnight. The morning hours, uh, or the evening hours, rather, to me, are better. Late afternoon, evening, after we've kind of burned off that humidity, and uh, like I say, the sun's setting, you still have a bit of a breeze there, those are really the best times. Uh, it's a little more dry, 
It's a little less warm, and there's just that, that uh, breeze that's going to kind of keep the air moving. That's probably going to be the best, most comfortable time. Let's talk about skincare for a moment. So obviously when we're out in the sun, we always think about sunscreen, right? No sunscreen under six months. You want to seek out shade, dress cool, and use umbrellas or stroller shades if you need to. Obviously, if you find a shady spot, you really don't have to worry about that much. But if you are in an open area uh, at the lake, for example, or at the beach, and there's not trees and that kind of thing, you don't have a canopy or something like that, use umbrellas or those stroller shades uh, to keep them warm. Something I will mention on the stroller shades, though, is you don't want you don't necessarily um, want to cover them up completely. You don't want to do the thing like where you get the blanket and cover them up. You don't want to do that too long because that prevents air from moving around. That prevents, uh, it warms them up too much, basically. It traps that hot air in there and it just gets hotter and hotter. Not what you want, okay? So you want to make sure they have shade, but you don't want to enclose them too much in that stroller uh, to, to where they overheat. Skin care six months and older, so six months to 12 months, hypoallergenic, fragrance-free sunscreen, okay? That's the best thing. Just basic, basic sunscreen. Nothing that could irritate that sensitive skin. Minimum SPF 30, UVA and UAB protection. So you want to make sure you check the label for those things. Make sure you know what you're, what you're buying, what you're using. That's going to be the best recommendation. Uh, from children's on that. So some signs of overheating, and these are pretty much um, for anybody, really, uh, but specifically for those babies. They have extreme fatigue. If they're just not as active as they usually are, changes in uh, eating and drinking, if they're if that's irregular, uh, flushed face and sweatiness, those are the kind of things to watch for. If they're sweating, if they're red in the face, that's a pretty clear sign. They need a break. They need to cool down. Changes in eating and drinking is a sign they could be unwell, and then that is extreme fatigue, too. So any of these things, you want to make sure you pay attention to them. Any of these things, go ahead and uh, get them inside, get them hydrated, get them cooled off, and uh, kind of evaluate things from there. And if you need to, call your pediatrician. Do not leave babies in hot vehicles. It drives me crazy that I keep having to say this, but every year it never fails that we see at least one or two stories on this. We got to stop it, folks. Do not leave your babies in hot vehicles. Period. End of story. So you want to stay safe, you want to stay cool, and you want to have fun. This heat can really be depressing sometimes. It is for me, because it's hard to go outside and really enjoy it. Right? It just, it's just miserable. Especially with your babies, because they, they get hot pretty quick, right? It's just they get uncomfortable, and it's just not fun. They're fussy, and it's a whole mess. These are some ways that not only can you keep them safe and keep them healthy, but keep them comfortable as well. You want to make sure that you can get out and enjoy the summer, regardless of what heat wave you have going on. So make sure you pay attention to their, their actions and their, uh, the way they act for uh, their, their health concerns, right? You want to make sure they have shade, that they're covered up. If they need sunscreen, you want to follow those guidelines as well. You want to make sure that they're shaded. You want to make sure they're cool. And you want to make sure that they're healthy. That's the general thing. The last thing, I'll, I didn't put this in here, but the last thing I'll leave you with is if you have any questions on any of this stuff. If any of this concerns you or you think that there's special circumstances you may be dealing with or one of these things may not work so you need some alternatives, talk to your pediatrician. I'm a weatherman, okay? I'm bringing you information from children's. A pediatrician is going to be able to give you more information specifically for you. I'm in the works right now of getting a pediatrician from here in Ellis County to uh, talk to us about some of these things as it pertains to health and uh, maybe some of these things more specifically, but really looking at the health line of things uh, in terms of keeping them healthy and what to look for and the effects of some of this stuff. Uh, but you want to make sure you talk to a pediatrician if you do have any concerns or questions on that. If you'll do me the favor of putting in the comments here any recommendations you have, innovation has no greater source than parents, right? Especially moms. I don't know what it is about moms. Y'all think of everything, right? I mean, it, it really, it, if it came down to moms to innovate everything, we'd probably be, we probably have flying cars right now. Uh, I mean, just, just the brilliance that moms have for uh, innovating for their kids. So put the comments down below what 
different things you found that have worked for you, uh, hacks, if you will, right? Uh, different things that have helped you with your kids outdoors. Uh, I, as a parent, could always use tips, right? Parents always love to find new things we can do to keep our kids safe and comfortable. So put those things in the comments, and I'll see you guys next week for the next Tuesday Tips and the Wild Weather Wednesdays, too, all focusing on summer right now. I think uh, tomorrow's Wild Weather Wednesdays, I think you're going to enjoy the first of a two-part series on uh, one reason that we really don't have a lot of room to talk when complaining about the heat that we have this year. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.